Our community is fortunate to have well-rounded school athletic programs. High school and middle school students can participate in football, basketball, baseball, soccer, wrestling, and many other sports. To take full advantage of athletic opportunities, student participants must be healthy. Athletes must have routine physical exams and need to follow some very basic health and hygiene prevention practices to reduce the likelihood of illness. Of particular concern is the recent occurrence of skin infections caused by bacteria among athletes and teams through close personal contact and the sharing of personal items and athletic equipment. One type of skin infection is a staph infection called MRSA, which stands for Methicillin-Resistant Staphylococcus aureus. MRSA is caused by bacteria and can be extremely serious because it is resistant to some common antibiotics used to treat skin infections. In order for it to be treated successfully, it must be recognized early and treated with very specific medications. If not recognized and treated early, MRSA can result in serious and expensive illness and in rare cases, life-threatening illness. We've been in the antibiotic era over the last uh, several decades when we use antibiotics for practically every type of bacterial infection. Any antibiotics that are given to a person for whatever reason, whether it's an ear infection or a pneumonia, uh, can cause any bacteria that are in the body or on the body to become resistant to it. And that's why it's very important for anyone with a scrape or a cut that looks like it's becoming infected to report it to their doctor or their health care provider because the physicians and the health care providers have been given the information about the MRSA outbreak they know how to look for uh, signs of resistance and they know what antibiotics to use in the case that one of these organisms may be resistant. In the past, MRSA infections were limited mostly to the hospital setting. However, in recent years that has changed. The spread of MRSA is becoming more frequent in community settings, for example schools and daycare centers. The MRSA bacterium can live on the skin, in the nose, and on surfaces such as weightlifting equipment, towels and linens, exercise mats, and other athletic equipment. The problem arises when a break in the skin allows the bacteria to enter the skin and cause an infection. By following a few basic health and hygiene rules, athletes, coaches, and parents can help prevent and control the spread of MRSA. Athletes, coaches, and trainers should follow good hand-washing procedures, that is, lather hands with soap and water for at least 15 seconds before rinsing. Individuals participating in sports involving close personal contact should shower with soap immediately after each practice, game, or match. Next, athletes, coaches, and trainers should avoid sharing personal items, such as towels, washcloths, razors, clothing, or uniforms. Clothes and uniforms should be washed in hot water with laundry detergent frequently. Teams should be responsible for making sure that non-washable gear, for example head protectors, are wiped down with alcohol after each use. Athletic equipment such as wrestling or gymnastic mats should be wiped down with an antibacterial solution regularly based upon their usage. Athletes should receive a total body check prior to any game, match, or tournament. Athletes must take care to protect any open areas on the skin no matter how small. These areas can be a source of infection and must be regularly cleaned with soap and water and covered with a band-aid or dressing. Individuals with an infection involving drainage, such as pus drainage, should be excluded from participation in sporting events and practices until no pus drainage is present and the infected site can be adequately covered with a bandage and clothing. It is very important to know what the signs and symptoms of this type of infection are. It often starts as a small sore that looks like a spider bite, pimple, or blister. If left untreated, the sore can become larger, redder, and become a boil with pus drainage. Because early detection is so important, we advise that parents, children, or athletic personnel report any suspicious sore or skin lesion to their school nurse or health care provider immediately. Since the infection can be transmitted in the home setting as well, all family members of a person diagnosed with MRSA should wash their hands frequently with soap and water. Bed linens should be washed in hot water with laundry detergent frequently. Cuts, bruises, and abrasions are a common occurrence in competitive sports and healthy play. Still, the reward of a victory or a hard-fought game makes it all worthwhile. Serious bacterial infections could also become a common occurrence among athletes, but it doesn't have to happen. In every sport, coaches emphasize the fundamentals, blocking, tackling, base running, conditioning. The fundamentals for preventing the spread of MRSA are simple. Follow the basic health and hygiene rules of hand washing and showering, 
know what to look for, and report suspicious symptoms to your health care provider. Have a healthy season. For more information about MRSA or any public health issue, log on to www.cdc.gov or www.mechealth.org.